Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hitmon channel. We are your tour guides, Jacob and Noah. And today we are continuing once again, I'm gonna be saying that a lot, uh continuing our let's play of the first Paper Mario. Last time we got to the Cooper Brothers Fortress after res rescuing Cooper's signature Cooper signature over here, and today we'll be exploring more of it now that the stairs have lowered. So what are you doing? So in between episodes, I watched the trailer for Paper Mario Origami King. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> yes, like, I'm just like not that origami the King scares the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's weirdly horror tinge for a Paper Mario game, and I kind of like it. Nah, it's like Coraline. It's the plot of Coraline, basically. Which is really interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, also cool to see, um, Bowser as an actual partner from the yeah. looks of it. Uh, which is, is interesting, because if that first bit is to be believed, Peach is, like, a villain in this one. Yeah, which will be weird, but kind of cool. Yeah. And oddly enough, would also be. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't that make it the second Paper Mario game to make Peach a villain? I guess technically, yeah, because Peach got possessed. Spoiler alert for Thousand Year Door. Peach did get possessed by the villain at the end of the Thousand Year Door. Yeah. So she's actually the final boss. Yeah. That's the piano queen. Uh. Yeah, that's interesting. Um. Looks beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Some people have a little bit of an issue with them leaning so hard into paper aesthetic, but you have to admit it looks really great. It, uh, it does look cool. Um, yeah. Uh, um, I did not think this through. <laughs> Also, like the the bit at the end with the with the Samus helmet. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's actually going to be like some sort of mechanic. Yeah, like there's a lot of speculation about what that part could be. Like, there's a lot of speculation regarding the trailer in general because it showed a lot, but it didn't show a ton of a lot of specific stuff. Like for the sample, the battle the battle system. Uh, the battle system is very different from any of the Paper Mario, but it also looks closer to like. Standard Paper Mario like, like here than a lot of other battle systems have but in the more recent Paper Mario games. There's a lot of people hopefully optimistic that it won't be like Sticker Star again. Yeah. I mean at least from the looks of it they they they've actually got partners back. Yeah. Although we still have yet to see whether or not they will show up and actually we still get to see how much they will do, but actually there was one bitch that, okay, I believe it's from the Chinese version of the trailer because they have different trailers for different regions because languages and stuff. Uh, they actually showed, like there's actually a battle scene where they showed that Toad Explorer character like in the, like behind Mario during the, one of the combat scenes. But for some reason that bit's not in any of the other trailers because everywhere else the Toad has been edited out. And that video is also no longer available for viewing, so it's led a lot of people to be curious as to what's going on with the partners, with the companions in the battle system. In the battle system. Oh. Yeah, that's that's really weird. It, it it's like they might be sort of hiding that particular character. What was that you cut out at the end? It's 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 weird that they're they're like hiding that particular care. Wonder if that's. I wonder if they accidentally like put that into like the Chinese trailer. Maybe that's like maybe that particular character is a spoiler of some. Maybe although it would be the very like although that is like a partner that's used in battle. It'd be the very first time like. An actual like 
standard Mario Mario partner was a toad, which would be very interesting. Yeah, so you don't really see it, toads it, fight it, at all. Done that. Was it wasn't it the whole thing that like ch that Chugga was talking about that got his hopes up so high for Sticker Star? Was it wasn't it the fact that like there was a particular screenshot that made it look like you had a toad partner? Yeah, yeah, there was, there was. Yeah. Hopefully it all turns out good. Uh, okay, this is perfect, I think. Oh, it looks like Mario's here. Yeah. Well, the, the, although, since they're still officially unconfirmed as to whether or not partners will be available. In, so, while it's still unconfirmed as to whether or not partners will be in combat, it very least seems that they'll be partners in the overworld, since we see that one bob show up in a lot of very different places. <laughs> so it seems fairly unlikely that unless a chap one of the chapters goes all over the place, that he's only going to be remembered like a segment of a chapter or something. Alright, and the Koo brother and the Koo brothers were working on this area here, so there couldn't possibly be anything wrong with hitting, hitting this block, could there? Also must say that I very much enjoyed the Looney Tunesness of him falling each time. Ha <laughs> Oozer, serves you right. You fell for it. Or should I say you fell through it? But um tsh. Oh um <laughs> What was that? Where did that fall from? Ooh, I wondered what just fell, but to you, Mario Never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob Pleased to meet you. Oh, man. Con convenient health care in this prison cell. <laughs> that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to you, to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa bros. I tell what that word was for a second. <laughs> but I was just one of many bob working here. Those Koopa bros. Once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore. I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. Cooper Bros didn't like it. No, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bob because they thought they might rise up. Well, not the rest of the bob <laughs> No, bob Rebellion. What do you think about that? I think would have been very loud. Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mark. I want to get you out of here. I, I, I want... My bad. I want <laughs> to get out of here is what I meant. You think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please. If you help, I promise I'll return the favor. Yes. Oh, how nice. Be good friends from now on, I can feel it. Make a super team, Mario. 
Bombad joined your party. Press down to make Bombad walk for a short time and then explode. You'll no longer have Bombad. Just kidding. She responds. <laughs> she can destroy cracked walls or rocks and, and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability. Or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Now, let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do, silly me. Though something tells me the game already told me. <laughs> My speciality is exploding. Check this out. If there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, 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 take cover. There we go. Let her loose. And she comes flying in later. See that? See what I bring to the party, Mario? You see what I bring to the Mario party? <laughs> oh, an escape route. A lie. I guess I never thought about doing that before, even though I literally just said it is my special <laughs> I was so mad, I just blew up over and over in one place. <laughs> oh, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, he can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. Now on, I'll tag along and help you wherever I can. Just ask and I'll be there for you. Oh, enough chit chat. I have a little score to settle with those Cuba bros. Alright, and now we have our third party member. And also the last one that is directly, like, within the same species as the party members from Thousand Year Door. I was gonna say, oh, look at that, another pop off. So another character, another. Don't uh, mind that again. Or that's like, your door. Don't worry about us, Mario. We'll find a way out. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to talk to one of them first. What's all this noise? In case the bombs forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress, except in the case of emergencies. What in the? Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet everyone get him. So yeah, from here on out, everybody we, from here on out, everybody we get as a party member, even if they have some same functions, it's at least a different species from everyone else we've seen in the game before. So, Bombatch, uh, actually, referring, relating to, uh, Admiral Bob, Admiral Bobbery from Thousand Year Door, is actually annoyingly a little bit worse than Animal Bobbery. Which I guess makes sense because you get her much sooner in the game than you get Bobbery. Uh, that's mostly because, okay, so Admiral Bobbery, so, so Bob, Bombette's primary attack is a, primary free attack is a body slam, which allows you to slam into things from the side. Uh, then her special attack is exploding, which costs 3 FP. Bob and does way more damage. Uh, Bobbery's standard attack is just blowing up. Uh, 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 you cut out, but I think it got the sound. I think it got. Gotcha. Okay. And then for uh, her attack, it's just a bit of a button mash. Yeah, that's good. We'll blow up a bit. Never mind that. Although I could have just used power balancing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so. Now we're gonna get out of here. And now we can go get some keys that weren't available to us available to us earlier. Yeah, 
computer escape. Well, speaking of party members, uh, just remember something. Uh, the gang host didn't actually get all of the party members in the Thousand Year Door Let's Play. Really? Yes, there is one secret power bounce. Uh, there is one secret party member that they did not get because they didn't bother doing basically any of the side quests. Yeah, I think you told me about this, but I forget who, who the party member actually was. Uh, hmm. Talk about for that. Remember what it does. Uh, the secret party member... Yeah, I can't pull it up. The secret party member that you can get is Miss Mouse, the m m little Mouser thief that, you, that they encountered earlier in the game. Oh! The one that, in the game of this play, I believe, really, either really wanted to have sex with Coops, or Coops really wanted to have sex with. I believe that was the joke they made up when they first encountered her. Pretty sure Mario was the one who really wanted to have okay, sex Okay, I knew somebody wanted to have sex with someone in that. Beyond Mario and Coops, which is just longer running. <laughs> You can unlock her as a... So in the game, which I don't believe they ever actually encountered, uh, is a special uh, Help Wanted board, which just lists a bunch of side quests, and one of those side quests is from Miss Mouse, and if you complete that side quest, she will be your partner. Gotcha. Her special attack is fish slapping enemies. <laughs> Given the rate this series is going, we'll probably have a running joke at some point of someone wanting to have sex with someone, too. <laughs> Just given the, the humor that we've had thus far. <laughs> so far, yeah. Given the current track record. See, gap in the I think you can drop down that gap, but I'm not going to, so they don't feel like wasting the time. Wasting no more time, here I go again. Okay, we can't reach that switch from here, so we can just hit it with coops. And then repeat this process a couple more times. If I don't miss it anyway. Yeah, the game introducing a new party member as soon as introducing a new party member then requiring you to do puzzles with one of the older ones, keeping reminding you that you will need to switch out party members for puzzles throughout the game. You still can't get to the one down there yet. But we can soon. After we kill this guy, I guess. Correction. Kill these guys. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, yes, just do that. Power shell to finish them all off. Is there anything? There's a okay. There's a there's a key thingy there. these stairs and get down to this wall we couldn't access earlier, then use Bombette to blow it the fuck up, and then access this key. Yeah, you gotta wonder about, like, when Mario's going into battle against huh. these enemies and they see his partner who is yeah. one of their own, <laughs> they're, they're like, 
Oh, great. You can get him from behind. Ah. <laughs> and then I have to put this tank to switch. And then we drain the timeout tank. Never mind, we lift the stairs up from the timeout tank. Forgot. <laughs> the timeout tank remains. And doesn't decrease in water level, which is unrealistic, but who cares? <laughs> Gildenstern or Rosencrantz, I forget which one, and that actually is fitting within the context of the play. <laughs> I mean, as I was referring to that one episode of the Pokemon D and D thing we, we did, where I, where as an aside, I uh, spent like an entire episode just trying to just calculate how much water would have been displaced by a Lapras leaving a pond. <laughs> oh yeah. For anyone who wants the conclusion but doesn't want any of the actual context, we concluded that the Lapis leaving the pond in question would cost the water level to go down roughly an inch. <sighs> um. I'll have. Oh, uh, man. I wanna. have to, um, check with, uh. other guys, uh, to, to see if any of them want to, uh, continue at. So it's been like a year. Yeah. Right? Um, if people are down to continue it, I'm down. And I did, I did find out a a good way to um find out Carly. Huh? Um, which um, it ba I mean, it's basically like a twist that was going to happen anyway, but now is going to happen sooner if we mm -hmm. do continue. What's up here first? Is there another door up here? Ooh, there's a badge up here. With one soul explosive guarding it. Never mind, two soul explosives guarding it. You, explosives you with souls guarding it. I missed up it, that, but whatever. It is possible to, uh, continue. I also guess I. I look forward to the thing that I'll be doing in the next episode if it happens, which is introducing my, which is introducing my new character. Yeah, because you also made a new character. Uh, for those who didn't watch it, um, a while back, um, or last summer specifically, uh, we had a uh, sort of, I mean, it was sort of a D and D light. Yeah. That I was doing with myself, Jacob, Alex, Aaron, and my girlfriend at the time. Oh, but... Um, that was set in the Pokemon universe. Um, Pokemon with Snowda region. Uh, sort of inspired by, um, uh, Pokemon tabletop stuff. Um, uh... For the loading crew, I believe is the name of the channel that did it. Yeah. Um, right. uh, well, well, Mario, I wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far. Starting to go into um, Game Grumps exaggerated Aladdin impression there. <laughs> That's Jafar. <laughs> Don't get smug, pal. You caught us off. You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. A music. Uh, screen went gray. Screen went gray. Come on. Yeah, boys, open fire. And now they're shooting at us. I can just go down here real quick and god damn it. <laughs> Get this item real quick. I'm just imagining how different Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series would be if they just had guns. <laughs> and since we got some new enemies coming up, 
Uh, Gumbario! Come back out. This is a bullet, this is a fucking bullet bill. I'm a Kazi attacker. Don't beat bullet bills quickly, they'll slam into you and explode. It's HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. Here is Mario, these guys will really make us pay if they manage to hit us. Have to beat them before they get a chance to strike us. Well, it's a good thing that there's three and I have one attack left. Uh, let's try to actually do the power rounds. Never mind, not. I, I keep confusing this one with a different one, but I'm glad to have the power rounds. <laughs> we have. I don't think we'll be able to make them fall asleep. <laughs> well, we got this one. Okay, I think I was confusing it for the line jump. I think that's what it's going to be called. I think that's what it's called in this game. Oh, which allows you to jump on enemies in a line. Make them fall. You make them fall asleep, and they just drop to the ground and explode on impact. <laughs> Oh, well, shiz now. <laughs> That's it. Sleeping Bullets sounds like a really cool name for a bit. It, it honestly does. It honestly really does. So many, like, I want to make, like, I just want to make, like, a, like, a movie... A battle of the bands because like there's just so many just as an excuse to like use all the cool band names I've come up with because there's so many like really cool band names out there that aren't taken probably um this is a bill blaster bill blaster are the cannons that shoot out bullet bills HP 4, attack power 0, defense power 1. Won't attack us directly, but they'll keep shooting out bullet bills as long as they can. Really, their attack power is the same as a bullet bill. <laughs> but delayed by one turn. So it's efficient to attack them all at once. You can also beat them one at a time. Alright, since... Bomb that's going to be one of the better ones for this. Because her bomb attack will do more damage and be able to better deal with their defense power of one. If we can even get past the Bulbas at front. I, I, I guess I misunderstood uh, what he meant by them shooting out bullet bills. I thought they, they like shot the bullet bills out and they hit you instantly. Because they shot out bullet bills as additional enemies for you to ah, fight. Never mind. God damn it, they're in the front line. That is much more annoying. Okay, cool. And now the bullpills are gone for that turn. So now we can bomb them. And she instantly kills them. Yeah, we'll be able to get another level up at the end of this. Well, pfft. it's a good thing that's actually like a spot next to this. Right, and rest assured, there. If if I ever did make that that thing, you're it, cutting out. What was that? Would, uh, yeah. Um, if if I do make that battle of the bands movie, it will place in the same universe as Pokemon with Snow to region, so it'll be a prequel to Pokemon with Snow to region. <laughs> electric Soldier Porygons. Um, and it will also uh, tell the origin story of my high school band, Off Apps, or as we were called, um, the second time we performed, 
Arctic wolves, the brains, and the brawn. <laughs> okay. So what I'd like to do lower level up is to just basically go in a line where first I do HP, then FP, then BP, then I start back at HP. Uh, don't know if I... Actually, yeah, I'll just continue um, doing that. I just remembered the, the majesty that is Betty White Titfuck. <laughs> Those who don't know, that is an actual band. <laughs> uh, the Game Grumps uh, talked about during, I believe, their Bloodborne LP. Yeah, it sounds like I'm gonna have their best of both worlds. Put that for now, some more ESP temporarily. Until I find something I more want to use the FP on. The BP on, sorry. And now I am immediately regretting not having Gumbaya out immediately. <laughs> immediately, 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 immediately. Now they're fight against definitely Bowser. Now I'm gonna switch over to Gumbario because I forgot to have him out to title health immediately. <sighs> That's some good planning on my part. Smack us in the face. Gabara's clear ability. Uh, switching to somebody else who can do more damage in one hit. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me? Uh, boom. I'm just gonna do this a little bit. As you can see, the uh, suit's are actually starting to smoke now that we're doing some decent damage to it. Uh, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha. You're so weak. Ho, ho. I can't stop. 
stop laughing. <laughs> Ariel really thinks that we're King Bowser. Shh, Ariel will hear us. Now, I wonder where those voices could be coming from. What voices? I mean, what voices? <laughs> And now I play the brothers, brothers directly. Here come the Cuba Bros! Okay, Mario, have a taste of this! And now that they're out, we can paddle them again. Next turn, after we get hit. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like when I read the HP, I was like, okay, that makes sense. When I read the attack power, I was like, okay, that's a little weird. And then I saw defense <laughs> power. And I was like, I'm not sure about this. You do a spinning attack, the whole gang with the whole gang piled high on top of one another. Them with the hammer or something to make them unstable. After that, any attack should knock them down. You use an explosion, you can make them fall down at once. Flip them over, the battle will be nearly out. Them one by one. Alright. And as the child says, smack them, they get unstable. No. The way, oh, the way I said that, it sounded Bad. like John Tron in his banjo because we nuts and bolts video. <laughs> I'm to topple over, but they never do. Uh. Oh, we're going over. And now they're over. Actually, we will. First title them. This is Green Ninja Koopa. He looks exactly the same as a normal Koopa. Koopa. XHP 5, attack power 1, defense power 1. There's a little bit of defense power, but you can turn him over by jumping on him just like a normal Koopa Troopa. I mean, it's already turned over, so let's flip him over quick, even though you've already fucking done that. Otherwise, the bros may form a tower and do their famous spinning attack. Alright. And then we'll need to title each one of them individually if we want to give it a turn on tree, but we can, if I, if I can get the attack right. Alright. Okay, we've taken out the first one. Oh, hang on. It went great. This is Yellow Ninja Koopa. Yellow reminds me of Curry. Why the fuck did I say that? Isn't that a weird thing to think of in the middle of a battle? Oh, okay. HP 5, attack power 1, defense power 1. He has a little bit of defense power, but okay. I mean, we already know this shit. Yeah, you could just skip this.
And now if you've killed one of them, they do one less damage in the ta in the tower. Yeah, I was wondering about that. And we can knock him over. Whoa, we're going over! And knock him back down. I mean, we've gone over this before! This is Black Ninja Koopa. Black is pretty fashionable. Although I've been hearing that orange is the new black. And then the same stats. And yeah, then I everything else is there. We know this shit. Who, who the fuck cares? We're basically doing that for that first bit of dialogue. Let's. I can't remember if they all need to stand up on the realm before they can line back up. Not line back up. Get back into a tower. Yeah, 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 this is fucking Red Ninja Koopa, he's the Koopa Bros leader. Even though, really, Leonardo is the leader of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> one, can't stress enough how wrong that rap is. My name is Aaron Eagle Raptor Hansen. He's pretty much just a normal Koopa Troopa, though. And then there's lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, they need to also be standing. Yeah, they need to all be standing up before they can get back into a tower. But if you just knock them, they need to all be standing up before they get from a tower. So if you just keep at least one of them down, they won't be able to do that. I I just I just imagine like two of them are ready to get into the tower, and then one of them's wait 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 wait, wait and then they just like jump on him and crush his bones. <laughs> Well, that's a bit morbid. <laughs> yeah. And then for the song I'm going to switch to Bombay because she wanted to have a little bit of revenge. So now that we don't need to Goombario out, may as well do that. Damn it. He was barely screwing that up. Uh, so, so this is sort of on topic for this battle. Um, so, uh, SNL has been doing, like, their show, like, with, like, skits that the cast members have filmed at home. Uh-huh. Um, some of which done over Zoom. Um, and, um, uh, no, I... I've, I've never really watched, like, that much SNL. Like, I mean, they've got a couple of their skits that I really like. Um, but poor stuff is generally not... Um, like, me and my mom were watching... Whoa! Uh, we were watching their newest... Uh, their, well, their first at-home episode, uh, which we thought would have some funny skits. Um, there was really only one skit we found in it that was funny, <laughs> which was an anim the animated skit being middle-aged mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> Basically exactly what it sounds like. That was the only funny skit in, in the first SNL at home episode. Um. Hey, hello! Somebody let us out of here! And now they're stuck in their own jail. Also, that peach looks suspiciously like the origami peach, and it's pretty <laughs> Alright, and we rescued the first Star Spirit. Yay! Yay! 
Shakespeare. End of chapter. And so Maru and friends beat the Cooper brothers at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Save and continue. Speaking of Princess Peach, what's going on back over way the hell up there? I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. You'll be alright, Princess. God damn it. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. I still can't quite... But there are a ton of guards just behind the door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I can just fucking float down. <laughs> Somewhere in this room is a secret passage. It may take a while to find it. Fortunately, I know where the entrance is. Oh, look, there's something behind this drawer. Boop. And it's in the fireplace. Because it's just always in the fireplace. Oh my god. Fuck yes, it. Yes, oh, cool. Now we can get out of this room. Oh, sorry. Have, you seen, have you seen Jello Apocalypse's uh, compilation videos for uh, the first Ace Attorney Investigations game? I have not. Holy shit, those games are bad. <laughs> he he got to uh, compilation. He he played through the entirety of the first one on stream. He's actually playing through the second one currently. Um, Whoa. Yeah, uh, apparently those Ace Attorney investigation games are not good. That's a shame. I, I like the first one. I've, I haven't played the second one because it's not officially released outside of Japan. Well, he was definitely not a fan of the <laughs> Hey, look at this. It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Read. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tish, tish. Okay then, very quickly. Let's see. Day symbol symbol month star sunny. Today I went to Star Haven, stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured the seven star spirits, so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty bush. Dinner was pretty nice but bland. I feel like I might know this person pushing her out there. Should we read more? Read. Okay, let's continue. Day Circle X month. Star shell. Cloudy then sunny. Today was great diary. I used my castle to lift Peter's Peter's castle up into the sky. I then I barge into Peter's castle and beat Mario. Yeah, unbelievable. I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Speech. I couldn't be happier, Diary. I hope she likes me. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, I love that band. Exclamation <laughs> points? Yeah, there's a band actually called exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Oh my god, that's awesome. I have heard one song by them, even when the water scold. I like it, although I did have to grow, like, that song that is a song that could definitely have to grow on me. Princess Beach is Bowser's is Bowser diary. Ugh. What do we do? Should we read more? Read. Day XX, Month Star, Sunny. 
Well, the Cooper of got me to my Mario diary. He even shut that stupid star spirit I kept that free. That's the words. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. I, I feel like this voice is transitioning into something else the, the more I'm doing it. There's no, there's no way Mario can take the star spirit be held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, you have to solve the mystery of the sand and then find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm I'm gonna go to bed now. Wang, 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 wang. Dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert. One of the revered star spirits being held there. Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Huh? Oh, you are doing a very different voice now. I thought you were doing Twink's impression of Bowser. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I tried to do it. I wanted to do a deep voice for Twink, but I can't apparently pull off a Twink voice. It does a Twink voice. A deep voice whenever I try, so. Uh, which is going with my attempts at a deep voice for that, which don't sound like a deep voice at all, but whatever. Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. Would I would be so embarrassed it, it would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak. You read my diary. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess to her room immediately. Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done, thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal of my power is broken, and I will recover it little by little. As long as the ounce of my power remains in me, I shall help you. Mario can now use the star spirit's power in battle. Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star power and star energy? <laughs> sure, why not? All this makes me feel bad for missing, for skipping over Goomba's explanation. Allow me to explain. Now, Mario, this is your gauge for star energy. See, you can check to see how much star energy you have. See how there's a star on the right side of the gauge? Each star marks one unit of star energy. So you have one unit now. Next, allow me to explain about star powers. First, let me tell you about refresh, alright? This power enables you to restore five points of both HP and FP at once. Why don't you try out refresh right now? Go to the menu item and pick refresh. <clears throat> See, both F HP and FP have recovered five points each. You used one year in the star energy, so you're completely empty now. Watch your star energy gauge carefully during battle. Usually your partner's turn would come next, but then it would and then it would be your enemy's turn. 
But we're just practicing now, so let's assume it's Meyer's turn again. Okay, it's Meyer's turn. Now pay attention to the star energy gauge. Did you notice that the amount of star energy increased a little bit? Star energy increases, increases, increases little by little every time it comes around to Meyer's turn. Remember this because it's becoming because it'll become very important. Next, I'm going to teach you about another star power, focus. Focus is a star power that enables you to increase star energy a little more than usual during a turn. Right now, your star energy is almost empty, even though you're slowly rebuilding it. Right now, try the star power focus. Press focus. And then we focus our energy, and we gain a decent amount of star energy. Did you notice how much the star energy increased? Focus helps you increase the star energy much more quickly. You should also remember that you can replenish your star energy by taking a nap at a toad house. Well, that wraps up my explanation. I honestly wish that you'll make good use of these star powers during battle. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a power, a star power called Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately. My people need me, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario. Sir, when you said that, I immediately thought, gotta go back, back to the past, <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. So, we've acquired a new ability, we've, we've saved the first Star Spirit, and we've beaten the first chapter boss of the game. So, on that note, I'd say this is a good point to end this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we'll be doing the in-between stuff. So, until then, I have been Jacob. I'm Noah. Peace. Peace. Sorry, adios. Sorry, I said your line, my bad.